Welcome to Guitars and Bacon, back again doing another reaction video, and today we're checking out Metallica's Lux Eterna. Now, I have not listened to Metallica in ages, man. It's like, I think the last uh, time I did listen to them was when their, uh, when their Master of Puppets tune kind of blew up again on Stranger Things. But uh, unfortunately, I haven't had the chance to listen to newer stuff. Not just Metallica, but a lot of uh, the bands that I look forward to, like Lamb of God. Um, I haven't really listen, managed to listen to them because I haven't really been driving as much. No, I, I used to drive to work uh, before the pandemic hit, and that's when I usually would tune in on Spotify and listen to the newer tracks. But I haven't really had the chance to do that. But we are checking out the latest offering by Metallica right now, which I'm absolutely excited for. Um, yeah, I have listened to Metallica, obviously, as, as a metalhead. Um, they're kind of like one of the staples that you ought to listen to, really, because they've got some really great tunes that came out, especially at the era where, um, at that time in the 80s, and even going up to the 90s, they, they kind of like, they created and crafted their sound absolutely uh, recognizable from anywhere. We're checking out Metallica's, uh, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right either, Lux Eterna. Um, the the way that's spelled is, uh, it's not something I'm familiar with. Um, so let's get right to it, man. and the riffing sounds really really good james voice obviously he's uh, he's aged um he's lost a little bit of uh, uh of terror in his voice his voice doesn't sound bad at all i'm uh, just getting it right out there obviously um but i do know he lost his voice uh, when the, when the past albums were created and he's then um learned to sing in a, in a bit of a different way and to preserve his voice so um i can i can hear that sort of difference i guess people can but if it if it preserves his voice and allows him to um sing for longer i'm all for it man props to him he enjoys playing music and if if being able to sing like this gives him more time to uh to pursue his passion and just keep playing for people hats off man cool Whoa. I, I noticed well, every since he started uh, getting the I guess he I think he got some vocal lessons but man the, those high notes are like getting back there man it's it's just really amazing like the the earlier albums um, crazy the the high notes that he's uh, throwing there what's well, just amazing stuff and the chorus here Luxy Turner Freaking awesome, dude. Wow, a couple of things I'd like to mention. Uh, really, really digging uh, James' vocals here. Kirk solo. I'm a bit surprised we, because you know, Kirk's been uh, a target of, of a fair amount of memes about him overplaying his wah into a lot of songs. I'm also pleasantly surprised to not hear wah on his solo here so far. 
He's kind of going crazy with, with the solo. It's not exactly melodic. It's fast, it's aggressive. I guess it kind of plays more into the on the vibe of the song itself since it's it's kind of like going with that tempo. But yeah, so far it's so good, man. Something I also did notice, like, I've been scratching my brain right now for, for something that I've heard before. Dun, 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 dun. That sounds very familiar. Okay. That sounds a little bit of... Uh, take a look around. Limp Biscuit. Yeah, I, I listen to Limp Biscuit a little bit. I guess take a look around and a couple of their songs kind of like went popular back then. You know, it's it's it has that Mission Impossible. Uh, line to it. I, I'm not saying that they kind of like ripped it off. It's just a great riff there, man. It's it's very punchy. I'm really digging this song. I could probably play this in my car if I started driving again, like, uh, like regularly. But this is such a it's a fast, um, fun tune to listen to. Um, vo James voice really, really sounding good here. Uh, like I said, there's obviously a difference from when he uh, sang before, but uh, it feels like if I'm comparing both things, um, uh, it's like. Especially if you guys, I don't know if you guys play Elden Ring or anything, but um, his older voice feels like uh, a serrated blade, you know, like it's it it slashes you, but you know it rips you apart as you listen to it, um, it and it's not just like a clean cut. While his newer voice, like his more trained voice, feels like a nice, sharp, clean katana that just swish clean cut and uh, it, it you know it it has two different characteristics to it but they both kind of do the same thing and they get the job done really really well uh, and which is pretty much cut your face off <laughs> but this is really good man I'm really liking the chorus it's it's very very catchy I'm also digging some of the breaks where where Rob's bass kind of like shines through a little bit so props to that but what about you guys? Let me know what you think. Uh, leave them down in the comments below. And if you guys would like to request more, leave them down in the comments. Click like if you like the video. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell notification icon to be one of the first people to see new content when it's out. And uh, once again, thanks for tuning in to Guitars and Bacon. See ya. Oh, there we go again. <laughs> right into the volcano.